All right, how's it going, y'all? Today I'm gonna to be talking about this right here, which is by far my favorite mouse for use with macOS, and it's the Logitech MX Master 3. So this is a mouse that I bought with my own money, they did not send it to me or anything, and I really just bought off of reviews offline, and honestly, it was the exact mouse that I've been looking for for a really long time for use with macOS, specifically because it allows you to really have that trackpad level integration where you're able to flip between desktops and everything like that, but not using the terrible magic mouse that Apple has. That tiny thing that has the worst ergonomic characteristics on the face of the planet. Instead, you've got this, which is a ton better and it just fits, at least for me, perfectly in the palm of my hand and it's really comfortable for long use while also giving some really great features that I felt like I needed to make a video about. And so this mouse definitely is not cheap, but in my opinion, is actually well worth the money, especially if you're gonna be spending a lot of time on your Mac, specifically at a desktop environment, and want to be able to do everything. And so the reason I like it so much is the custom buttons, as well as the ergonomics. So there are a few different custom buttons on here, and they're really well placed. So there's one right here, which you can program to whatever. So I have opened the application menu, so that launch pad, I think it's called. And so you click on that, and boom, it's just like doing the four fingers in, and you get to see your entire applications and pick whatever you'd like. Then what's probably the best feature of this mouse right here is right here. There is a button right there that allows you to click, and it's got a few different settings there, and that, to me, is well worth the entire mouse. And so the way this button right here works is it's kind of got two different setups. You can either click it, and then it's just a regular button, so you can program it to whatever you want it to be, but if you hold it and move it to the side, it does a, another programmed action, however you set it up. And for me, this is exactly what I was looking for and have really enjoyed it for probably two years now. And so what it allows me to do is just say, okay, say I wanna go to my right desktop. I just click it and move to the right desktop and it's just like I did a three finger swipe on my Mac on the trackpad. And so it lets you go between menus so easily. And I've honestly not found another mouse that allows all that stuff to just work integrated really easily without having way too many buttons. So it just allows you to really easily flip back and forth between different Mac desktops really easily. Then I've got it programmed to go, if I go up, it now goes ahead and opens the app launcher and shows all of the different windows open so you can move everything around. And then when I pull down, it's same thing as three fingers down. And so it's really set up to work exactly the same and I really have enjoyed it. It just works really well, and it's probably the, got the best integration into macOS. It still looks good and still looks professional, but it still just works really well. I've used this thing a ton, and it is well worth it. I do still actually have a trackpad, so my setup, when I'm video editing especially, is I've got this on my right hand, trackpad on my left hand, and I'm using them both in tandem to move around Final Cut Pro, and I found I'm actually really fast with that because there are still some swipe commands in Final Cut Pro that it's just so much easier to do with a trackpad. So it's like pinch to zoom, things like that, I can do with a trackpad in one hand and with a mouse in the other, and it makes me really efficient. The other thing it's got is it's also got a nice thumb scroll wheel right there. So it makes it really easy to go ahead and just turn it with your thumb exactly where you expect it to be. And so you don't have to move anything, you don't have to go through all those awkward settings and trying to be able to scroll right and left. Instead, you can just really easily thumb through whatever you like, which you run into a ton and it's really annoying when you've got to search to the bottom of the screen, figure out the little drag bar and move it around. Instead, you can just use the really easy thumb wheel right there without having to move into an uncomfortable position. It also has two side buttons right here, a back and a front button, so it's easy to go back and forth between web pages and anything else. It's like the two finger swipe on a Mac that allows you to pop through everything. And honestly, since I've used it and I use it all the time, it is 100% just become muscle memory and I can fly through things while still having a really comfortable setup. And so it's actually got a couple of different options as well. You can have it using Bluetooth, but for me, I really don't think it works very well with Bluetooth. It'll work but as soon as you have extra devices connected, like headphones or something, when you're using Bluetooth on your Mac, in my experience, you start getting some poor quality mouse movements, which is really annoying. And so I always use the wireless dongle, if at all possible. Though sometimes if I bring it with me for my laptop, I'll use Bluetooth and it's not a big deal. 
But for the most part, I think that's really just an issue with Mac OS and Bluetooth and I think just Bluetooth as a standard because I think you get too many devices connected and Mac OS tries to switch between, but I just think it gets overwhelmed. And so it also has like these three programmable modes. So one of them I've got set up to the wireless thing and it can allow you to like go between a Windows computer and a Mac computer and just like slide everywhere, which if you had a use case for it would be nice, I guess. I don't, so I really never use it but it's just a great, easy to use mouse that I have really enjoyed. I do wish they had a USB-C version of the dongle instead of just a USB-A version because that is annoying. I've always got to use an adapter for it for basically my entire life is USB-C and I have found the adapter doesn't have a huge wireless range, but other than that, this thing is awesome. The battery life lasts forever. It charges via USB-C and it can charge and work at the exact same time because you don't have to plug it in at the bottom just like Apple's lovely magic mouse. And I really have just enjoyed this mouse. And so yeah, honestly, that's all there is to it. I just wanna make this video because honestly, I love this mouse and I think it might be the best mouse for Mac OS out there. So go ahead and leave any other tutorials or anything you'd like to see in the comments below and have a good one, bye.